Hey peoples, Karina here coming to you with this video. As you see, the title is below. Now, I really didn't know what I wanted to title this video at first. But now I think I'm going to call it Dear Divine Masculine, either shit or get off the pot. Plain and simple. You know, when I'm five years old, you can't be worried about what other people are going to say. That shit is getting old. That energy is getting old, okay? Yes, you have free will to stay some. You have free will to do whatever you want. But do you know free will isn't really free because you still pay in some type of way. So you choose what you choose. And you're paying by... You know, being mentally tormented, knowing that, hey, I'm in love with somebody and I want somebody just as bad as that person wants me. Well, all you got to do is just reach out, you know, and stop doing subliminal stuff. It's that simple. I'm going to make a part two to this video, but I don't think it's going to have the same title, but I do believe it's going to have a little bit of something, something about this. In the next video, it's like this. And if you're extra over-religious, please stop doing and saying this right here. Because let me tell you how you cursing yourself. Just give me Jesus and nothing else. You do know when you say certain shit and don't realize what you're saying... Satan can get in on the technicality and be like, okay, well, I could fuck with the happiness and I could fuck with this and I could fuck with everything around because this person said, just give me Jesus and nothing else. Just give me God's love and nothing else. Or just let, just let the universe, I can't even say it. Just let the universe be in my favor and everything I do. Uh, just let the, just let the universe love me. Okay. Just let God love me. Just give me Jesus and nothing else. And then everything else ain't got to come to you. Why? Because you stated out of your mouth that that was all you wanted. I bet you won't pray different and say, because you know how to pray. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to my divine masculine. You know you know how to pray. Don't you realize you got everything you wanted from God concerning me? You were upset at the fact that I could love you, but I didn't want to accept the fact that you actually had kids come out of your marriage. So you prayed about that. Actually, I'm sitting up like worried about them because the fucking mama they got. So, yeah, your prayers worked on that part. But it took some months. But, you know, I, I, I just, you know, God was like, don't throw that man away. Don't throw that man away. But you almost making it seem... <laughs> By your choices, you are almost making it seem like, look, sometimes when certain things are supposed to be, it'll look like a lie because it ain't happened yet. But dude, I bet you won't pray this way and say, God, give me the wife that you created just for me. Give me what I need. Give me the peace that I need and take everything out of my life that don't give me peace. And watch how much shit will be moving. Like, you never know. That'll be where your extra little oomph come from for you to get past certain things. It's time out for trying to make, like, even though you know the karmic is doing all the shit, you know about the magic, you know about the spell work, you know about the baby being tied to, you know about all that shit like that. You know about all the shit she was doing. However, it's like wanting to make her get caught up so everybody can see it. Let me tell you something. She's, I don't want to say this. She's stupid, but she's smart. Let me tell you how. She's stupid for what she's doing, but she's smart enough not to get caught. She knows exactly how to play the victim perfectly, especially with that little baby voice. She knows how to play the victim perfectly. She knows how to move the way that she needs to move with cadence 
to execute that thing, to lock you in that thing. Now, we 40 years old. And I don't know about you. Well, I do know, but I'm going to say for me, I choose not to actually, ugh, I be getting, you know, asked out this and that and all kinds of shit and people telling me about they, oh, I'm trying to be celibate before I get married shit. Be like, you know what? And I was open and honest and I said what the fuck I was going to say. I'm dealing with some things that you might not understand and um that's it and if a person keeps picking and picking and picking i'll be like look wouldn't that suck for you to marry somebody and you're loving them with your whole heart and they just can't love you back because they in love with somebody else they you doing all this stuff and taking them around your friends and taking them around your family like look at my love look at my baby look at this and that and meanwhile oh my god my window is open and my neighbors are barbecuing and i seen a little gnat flop in here oh my god fuck it i got spray and shit anyway i'm gonna go wash clothes in a little bit so take care of all of that in a little bit I'm just glad that smoke is blowing the other way and not up here. It's about to blow my own smoke. But anyway, and it's windy outside too, so I know y'all can hear my wind charm. And my door moving. <laughs> but anyway. What was I saying about that? Yeah. You wouldn't want, you wouldn't like it if you took your girl or your wife or whatever around all your friends and everybody and spoke highly of her and be like, this is my queen, this is my, this is my, this, this is my this and this is my that. And that's why I don't want to get married. I'm, I'm to this point. I don't want to, if it ain't to my twin, I don't want to get married. I mean, I know how to do the single life. I'm fine with that. Been celibate for 10 fucking months, especially uh, let me see the last time I did whatever cuz Yeah, I was trying to make something work with a soulmate and when what? 10 months ago Yeah, about 10 months ago Yeah And crazy baby mama did all her shit did all the same shit that that the uh, DMs karmic is fucking doing and you know what that bitch is under the ground so you keep on karmic. I mean, and that was just a soulmate. But why she did all the shit she done was because she went and she found out, oh, he's saving money so he can um, propose to her. He's already talked to her about it. He'd been locked up in a marriage the same way that I was on paper with somebody for 10 years, which is the exact, same, exact amount of time that it took me to get the fuck away from my son's daddy my ex-husband first ex-husband so it's like okay he was like man i just want everything to be so right for this that you know i want i want especially since like his little girl actually liked me oh yeah but after the mama died and all her fuck shit like that yeah the baby got removed out the home and she um you know, she's with her other sibling now, and they get to grow up together and have no recollection of all the bullshit that happened. But, yeah, his baby mama decided that, you know, she was going to put a demon on him to make him, him want to, like, hate me and shit. And you know what? He had, like, so much fucking love work done on him that he was kind of, like, dazed and out of I was like, I'm done. Done, done. I don't know why everybody want to try to make copycats of what the fuck you fucked up. Now he got another bitch, like, that's, like, wow. So you just gonna tell this bitch to dye her hair red. Make me understand. Shit, and my DMs, Karmic just barely, like, she with this black hair doll all of a sudden. That's crazy, though, because my ass was thinking about dyeing my hair black, and some told me, nah, don't do it, and that's probably why. And then again, like, when I get tired of the red, I know how to fucking dye it black and just keep trimming it a little bit, little bit, little bit over time so that way it turns back to my natural hair color so that when I turn gray, I can have my gray curly hair. 
Once I get enough of my roots growing green, that's it for the red, you know? Probably. Or I might go purple. I, I don't fucking know. But the whole point of the matter is this. Oh, and I know you're probably wondering, like, did I actually love that soulmate? I felt like... I put it like this. I had love for him.